All right, everybody, how are we doing out there today? My name is Matt. Welcome back to the channel, eBay Poshman. We getting ready to get started, and we're going to start off one of our favorite stores, of course, Mr. Ross Dress for Less. They got some of these Doc Martens right here, small size and 60 bucks, so I did have to pass on those. But do be looking at your Doc Martens. They are marking some of them down on clearance. I found some the other day for $28 and sold them for $89 on Poshmark. So definitely a decent little profit on those. Found some of these uh, Under Armour volleyball shoes. These are women's. I have sold some of those in the past, but for $28, not enough profit for me. And found some more of these Vans uh, Lowland, $35. I do have one pair already, so I decided to go ahead and pick up another pair uh, so the other one won't get lonely. No, hope. hopefully both of those will make some decent money. Uh, some of the comps were pretty good on those, around $100. So I spotted some of these Adidas uh, track shoes, like the neon green. These are on clearance, so definitely be checking your shoes and see if any of them is on clearance still. I didn't think they were worth picking up at $13, and they were missing the spikes as well. So here's some more Doc Martens. I looked these up before, $50, and comps were pretty bad on those, so I passed on those. And I've seen these uh, Converse right here, uh, Jack Purcell. Uh, they're made to look like they're distressed, so... I thought they might be unusual. I picked them up, threw them in the buggy. That's what I always do. And, um, you know, once I get a buggy full of stuff, I'll kind of go somewhere in the corner or aisle somewhere and kind of uh, look up stuff and do research. I don't like to try to come back because I always forget. If I see something that's interesting, I just go ahead and stick it in the buggy and look it up later and make my mind up. See some of these Adidas response right here. Uh, so I'm over here at the hat section. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know that much about hats, but I thought this Viking hat looked cool. New Era 5950. So we're going to throw it in the buggy. Uh, retail on this hat, $40. And I think uh, the Ross price was like $10.99. And uh, somebody asked me the other day, you know, how do you know what to look for? How do you know what to pick up? Uh, well, one of the things you got to do, you got to look up a lot of stuff. You're going to be doing retail arbitrage. So that's what I did. I just through like three or four hats in the buggy and uh, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna look them up uh, at the end of the day and see which ones I think are a good find got this uh, USF Bulls closed section to see if they have anything out there i got this hurley jacket pretty nice looking jacket i would wear this actually 40 bucks uh, i got some of these columbia ski jackets uh nothing uh special here i do see this under armor retail 200 it was missing the ross tag uh so i don't know how much that one is ross price Got this pretty cool uh, Nike hoodie. I think it was $30 and retail was $55, so I don't think there's any money on that one. Uh, but this one looked pretty good right here. Uh, this Nike uh, Tech Pack. Usually all the Tech Pack stuff does good. And retail $125, Ross price uh, $20. So I know uh, pretty much uh, without a shadow of a doubt I'm going to take this one. So I'm going to throw it in the buggy and we'll do a little bit of research on it. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna hit the women's section right here. You never know. I uh, got some of these uh, Timberland uh, heeled boots. I uh, looked these up before the other day. I think they're what, yeah, seventy dollars. Uh, yeah, passed on those. Uh, but I mean, you never know what you can find in a women's section either. I think these are like some Under Armour, maybe lacrosse shoes. I uh, looked them up in the past, uh, so there's no need for me to look those up again. I uh, got some softball shoes right here. 
uh, yeah, so if you hit your stores frequently and, you know, you won't have to look as much stuff up because you have already uh, seen it before and checked it and realized if you wanted to pick it up or not. Uh, I have seen these here for a while and they look pretty interesting, especially with the markdown price of $45. Uh, these were all small sizes, like a size 6, but uh, Timberlands definitely can do good and a good color, especially for the holidays. Uh, I got some of these Hunter, uh, like snow boots, 60 bucks. So yeah, I'm still trying to make my mind up about these Timberlands. So I throw them in the buggy and looking in them too, they also are stamped. I don't know if it's like a B grade stamp, but it's a stamp right there in the corner, FS. From what I understand, I think it means final sale. I don't know if that'll hurt the value, but definitely on eBay, that's something you would have to let the buyer know about. And I did uh, find these Uggs right here, uh, $25. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cheap for them. So I put them in the buggy too, and I'll look them up in just a minute, and I'll let you know what I picked up at Ross. Uh, these I thought were going to be a great buy at $45, but they had ink on the toe box there. But I definitely wish uh, they weren't uh, damaged. So anyway, this is what I ended up uh, picking up today in Ross. I uh, got these uh, Uggs right here. Now the comps on eBay were pretty pretty bad on these, but on Poshmark actually they're good. So always you know check comps on uh, the different sites you sell on. And also I did get this uh, Tech Pack jacket vest, uh, 19 bucks, and I think I can at least get about uh, 70 bucks for this. At least I'm gonna try to. Uh, pretty nice jacket, good retail. Uh, so anyway, hard hard to lose money on something that's 20 bucks like that. And uh, just glad I could find some things. So I'm going to pick up this biking hat. I think I can probably get about $30 for it. Uh, let me know what you think. It's got the 1961 there on the side. It's got the rope on the front. Short bill. And it is fitted also. And yeah, you know about the vans. I showed you those in my last video. So yeah. I'm still contemplating about these Timberlands, uh, but to be honest with you, after uh, looking at the comps and everything, I am going to have to pass on those, but let me know in the comments would you have picked those up or not. Uh, so I did get a bag full of stuff. We're going to head into uh, Burlington right now, see if we find anything. It's been a long time since I've been in Burlington, uh, so uh, fingers crossed, maybe we can find something in here today to make some money with. Yeah, and what I've been doing lately since I uh, can't find a lot at these retail stores is I've just been uh, thrifting a lot more and selling more used shoes. Uh, so I did see uh, some Adidas here, and usually uh, the cleats would like these metallic bottoms that do well. These are baseball cleats. I think these are the Afterburner 7. Uh, so I threw them in the buggy like always. We're going to look them up later and see uh, if we can make some money with them. Uh, these Adidas Addy Zero Scotch, uh, they usually don't do that good, so I didn't even bother uh, looking them up. And I found some more of these uh, Afterburner right here. Now these uh, probably are flooded, but at 20 bucks, uh, still might be a good pickup, but you might have to hold for a little while. Got some more of these uh, Adidas uh, track shoes, 20 bucks, and the cleats were with them. Uh, not sure if I missed those or not. Do miss stuff. Here's some more Adidas baseball cleats. I'm not sure what these are, but like I said, they look kind of unique. So I'm going to throw them in the buggy and see if they're worth picking up or not. And right there's some more. So we're going to throw them in there. And if I see any more, I'm definitely going to stop and pick them up. Uh, here's some more afterburner. These are the plastic cleats, but these were kind of dirty, so I went ahead and put those back. Yeah, so look what I found here. I was definitely surprised to find these, and I did miss these the first time to go around. Uh, these Nike React uh, Hirachi Elite 3 uh, baseball cleats. These, these are pretty neat. Only 20 bucks. And I definitely think I can get like 75 plus out of those. I am going to uh, get those the black Adidas. I'll show you that uh, 
jacket there in a minute and then I'm going to pick up those two uh, afterburner sevens um, it might be a long hold and I did end up finding some more of these Nike Reacts now this colorway right here didn't have the best comps but still going to pick them up I was just excited to find some cleats out there and this is the Umbro jacket I found uh, the Coral Studios uh, anyway, it was it was super cheap, thirteen dollars. Retail was one eighty on this, and I did see where one uh, sold recently for I think seventy dollars. So for twelve dollars, I definitely take a chance. So next, I went to Play-Dohs and I found these uh, Jordan Thirteens. Uh, these were in pretty decent condition, probably like an eight out of a ten. Uh, Men size eight. Uh, I didn't have any coupons, but sixty dollars, I'll take them. And also, I didn't film in there, but I found these uh, Jordan 1s right here. These are women's. Uh, the Jordan logo up there is metal. Uh, uh, these are size 8 as well. And I did I did pay $60 for these. There's not a lot of comps on these, so I'm hoping these are kind of rare. But I do think I'll make some decent money with them. Uh, so let me know if you've ever seen them. They're kind of like suede and like a, a satin material. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. I got a little outro for you in just a minute. So I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you in just a minute. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching today. As you can see, it's dark outside. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm ready to go home. Uh, but we did it again. We hit several stores and we did find some decent items. If you did enjoy this video, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Drop me a comment down below. Everybody stay safe out there. Take care. And as always, God bless.